Tawana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome. This is this is my kitchen. I am making my homemade freaking pizza, and it's amazing. You guys, I feel like I was put on this earth to make pizza and pasta, and then to eat the pizza and pasta. Let's begin, shall we? So first, we're gonna make our dough, and we need to get all of our ingredients. It is water, flour, yeast, olive oil, salt. Yep, that's it. I was af afraid that I didn't have enough all-purpose flour, but I do. Oh God, ah, just. <laughs> and that was my workout for the month. I think we are, oh. I need a bowl, oh my God, you guys, I almost forgot. Let's peek at our dough. This is very, very easy. We're gonna make two and a half cups of room temperature water. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so stressed, you guys. Oh my god. Ah! Let's take our little yeast. The yeast is like alive. It's like, make me. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of yeast. Whoa, look, it's like, ooh. Let us mix it. If you see it kind of like floating to the top and looking kind of clumpy and weird, that might just mean that your yeast is old. So just throw it out and start again. Let that sit for a minute and start on our flour. So we are gonna do seven cups of flour. Do this. That was seven? I don't know. Was it? Yeah. Eight. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. That's salt. So one and a half tablespoons of salt. We're gonna just cut right into our flour mixture. Okay, let's do six tablespoons of olive oil into the flour mixture. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Six tablespoons of olive oil into our flour mixture. Let's check on our yeast. Oh, it looks beautiful. I think it's bloomed. So we're just gonna add, <clears throat> Ooh, I'm nervous. We're gonna add our bloomed yeast into our dough. Woo, so this was not a good idea. I have these long, long fingernails, so dough is just gonna, oh, and I never took off my rings. Great. Okay, you guys. So we're just gonna get in there and use our hands and start to combine the wet mixture with the dry mixture. Not viscous enough, not wet enough. You can add a little bit of water, but it just takes some time. I think the fun of cooking is using your hands and getting in there. We're going, we're going, and we're making a mess, but it's super duper fun. Once we feel like you've incorporated it enough in the bowl, let's dump it out on our board. Ah! Okay, you guys, this is the most important part. We're still getting, getting our dough all incorporated. You guys, this is so much dough. Don't let the big terrifying ball of dough scare you. You are its pizza master. And we are just gonna start kneading. My bicep, is twitching. This will probably make four beautiful pies. Knead it for 10 minutes. We want our dough to be spiny. Love you, I love you so much, my baby girl. This is how you know your pizza, your dough is ready, is when it's pokey and it springs back. Look at that. Just grabbing the sides, folding them in. Grabbing the sides, fold them in. Okay, let's see if we did it. We folded it in, we moved it. Ha! Huh. She's got a big booty. It's so beautiful. You're gonna turn it to the most beautiful little pizza. The most beautiful little pizza I ever did see. Now we're gonna put it to bed and let it rest. Give it its beauty sleep. So what I do is olive oil and just kind of put a little in your bowl. This is the same mixing bowl that I used for the dough. I just cleaned it out. You want a little olive oil on your dough. And now, we're gonna let this rest. The longer you rest your dough, honestly, the better your pizza will taste. It is time to just develop those air bubbles and make your pizza so fluffy and incredible and soft and crunchy, but spongy. It's like, I highly suggest resting it for as long as possible. So we're gonna put into a like room temperature little place. 
So now you guys, we wait until it has, our dough has risen and looks beautiful and spongy. I think I'll do a rise for four hours and we will come back to it and then make this pizza. Mm, then we're gonna eat the pizza. Okay you guys, welcome back. Our little baby dough has been resting for about four hours. So let's see. Dang, that's good. It has risen. Let's make some pizza. Oh my God. Oh. We're gonna cut it into fours. Look at that. This is so satisfying. As it's been resting, do you guys see like this little air pockets in it? It's been just developing gluten as it's been resting and developing lots of air. And the air, that's what's gonna make it so fluffy and like kind of thick. Look at that. Oh, now the fun part begins. I believe in the method of tapping. This is what you do like to your brother when you're trying to get his attention. Turn around, turn around. This is what you do. And you tap. There's like a ton of different techniques. You can throw it up in the air. I'm not that good. Tell me this is just the greatest thing you've ever seen. Okay, let's do a little bit more tapping. Look at this beauty. She's ready. She's ready to go in. So, oh, we need to salt our sauce. Himalayan pink salt. But we're gonna add a special sauce at the, uh, salt at the end. Let's kind of mix it in. So what I'm gonna do is just take the scoop, put it in the middle, and then just use the back of this as your ladles. If you see like kind of the veins of the tomatoes, you can just put them to the side because they're kind of hard to eat. But I like my sauce chunky. So I'm gonna use the mozzarella you just get at the store. I'm gonna grate a fine layer of mozzarella over my pizza. But you see, it's like a snowflake. It's just a dusting of mozzarella so it'll ensure that you get cheese in every bite, but it's not overwhelming. I'm using fresh basil. You guys, that's it. We gotta take the pizza pan that's been preheating in our oven. It's piping hot. Take it out. Let's pray together that this slides off. Okay. And just say a Hail Mary and commit. Oh my God. Everyone, calm down. Son. Truly anxiety inducing. Shake it. We put this beautiful girl into the oven. There is no actual time. You can't just be like, I'm gonna set a timer and then it's gonna be done. You have to babysit it and you have to watch it. Pizza's finished. Thank you guys so much for being here. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Cooking is my happiness and a huge part of my life. I'm gonna bid you adieu because it's now time to consume all two pizzas in the matter of minutes. Dare I say seconds. If you wanna like and subscribe, do so. Okay, you guys, and with that, pizza, pizza out! <laughs> yes! Wait, don't leave me hanging!